All right, so we are finally on competition day after many days of us just chilling in our hotel rooms alone. Um, I'm actually alone, and so is Taylor. So we've been by ourselves for pretty much, how, I don't even know how many days we've been in here now. Day four. Yeah. We're on day four. Okay, so we're on day four. I don't even know what day it is. I just know that we finally get to bowl today, so we're excited. So I'm here with Taylor. Um, she's going to talk a little bit about, uh, she joined kind of like my squad now because now 900 Global is a part of Storm and Rotor Grip, which is really awesome. So we can throw everything now. So she kind of joined at like the perfect time. <laughs> really did. So uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about like why you came over to the dark side? Yeah, so 2020 was just a year to like reflect on, you know, myself and opportunities that I really wanted. Um, so with not being able to bowl, I decided to think about what I wanted for my future with bowling and what I thought 2021 could bring me that would, you know, make it a better year than 2020. And uh, I just felt like my opportunities were going to be better if I took one that like, even though it scared me and it was a risk doing it so soon before the tour, I just knew that uh, I didn't want to I didn't want to call myself scared, so I just took the opportunity and, and made the best of it and, and really put my foot down to uh, do the work before this to make sure I understood everything that was in my bag. Yeah, that's definitely a big jump before a tour stop because I know you've been with EBI for a while. Really long now. time, yeah. So I was in the same boat, like I was with EBI for a while, so switching brands is pretty crazy. So she's just going to kind of show us, I know she only has a couple that she came here with because like she said, it was kind of like a quick jump in, so she's just going to kind of show us her arsenal. And um, she was one of the few girls that did drill a ball yesterday, so she's gonna kind of actually the only one. <laughs> oh, okay, she's I, the I broke only the one. Well, that's fine, you know, because she only had seven. So um, yeah, so just kind of show us your arsenal, what you have, like what's your favorite ball so far. So far, my favorite ball is gonna be the Zen. Uh, this ball is basically just the one that I have been able to use on everything since even started bowling like local tournaments and stuff like that. So the Zen has been super awesome, and I just know that. Today, it's probably going to come into play for a while, so I'm really excited about that. Um, first drilling, uh, you know, it's the X1, really good ball. Also one of my favorites, we have the Aspect. I haven't gotten to work with it too much, but it definitely complements my Phase 2 very well. Uh, phase 2, obviously, is a favorite for so many people. Uh, great ball, too. And we have a Honey Badger Proton Physics. And then we drilled the IQ Tour yesterday, a two-inch pin. Um, basically, it just felt like I didn't have anything that could control the back end. So this ball is going to be something that I use on fresh, I hope, just to get through a couple of games and then be able to bring my Zen or my Honey Badger into play that looked really good yesterday. Um, so this one's just going to be smooth and controllable. So super excited about that. I'm glad I ended up drilling a ball because I definitely felt like I needed it. So now I feel a little bit more comfortable than I did yesterday in practice and uh, we're looking good. All right, so I have one question. What do you think is one thing that you took for granted before COVID? That you didn't realize now that we're months into COVID, or it could be two things like whatever you feel are like. Let's say a couple things. So like one being on tour, like definitely took for granted that we got to bowl and and didn't have to like wear a mask and you know around people. You can't just go run and hug your friends and hang out right now. You know we're just kind of in the PWBA bubble. Um, so def definitely took for granted being able to bowl. Um, you know after sitting at home for so long in 2020 and uh, not being able to bowl it was really hard for a lot of us and uh, i know i felt that very much even though i'm in florida and bowling is is definitely thriving there right now even locally but during the beginning of the pandemic it wasn't like that um second thing i took for granted is just being able to be in groups like you know friends family vacations uh, travel i definitely miss traveling even when we started traveling for this uh, i definitely miss the environment of, you know, getting on the plane and being excited to travel and, and on tour, really, you know, the truck <laughs> took yeah. for granted being able to be on the truck right now. We can't go on there yeah. and ask for everything. Um, that's something that we all took for granted. Yeah. It's actually, I was just forgot about that. We, it's weird. We can't go on the truck. So everything is kind of like already done or we have to have like a specific time to go in there, which yeah, I didn't realize like having that time of like knowing you can just walk in and do whenever you want. I definitely took that for granted. Even though I didn't drill a ball, I just like see, I'm like, wow, that'd be weird to yeah. like have to schedule our time or whatever. Or we can't only have so many people in the paddock at the same time, or sorry, the ball area. So it's like, it is definitely weird. It's very time consuming. Like everything is on a time. We're all on a time. We all have to schedule things that we want to do. And before we didn't have to schedule anything. We were just kind of going when we wanted and doing what we wanted and, and just being where we're supposed to be. And right now everything is on a strict schedule. And uh, so we're definitely feeling I'm definitely feeling grateful for what we had before, and uh, I'm even grateful now that we have a tour, even with all the rules and protocols put into place, I would rather have them and being able to bowl than, than not have them at all, so. I definitely feel the same way. All right, well, good luck this week, and check out uh, this everything on Bowl TV, and 
free. Watch us for free right now. <laughs> yes, of course. All right, see you guys later. Oh. Look at that fit right there. <laughs> it's a Diana sighting again. <laughs> I love those sweatpants, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I was good enough to get those. <laughs> they're very comfy, they're Under Armour. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. Cozy.